Okay, I'm at another one of uh, Evandale strip malls. Um, I'm guessing strip malls is the best way. That's a, that's a place that um, so there's computer games. I don't know if they, I've never been in there. I don't know if they, it says they fix them, so I don't know. I guess they sell cell phones and computer games. I guess that's what they do. They, I guess it's not an arcade or anything, uh, which is kind of gone the way of, and everybody's got their own home games. Nobody goes to an arcade anymore. That was popular when, uh, like back in the 90s. Let me, there's a Peter Piper Pizza over there. Not open now, because it's about 8.30 or something like that. They probably open by about noon or something for lunch. And I think they got lunch special. There's a Del Taco over there. It's a fast food, uh, it's like Taco Bell, but it's Del Taco. So, kind of the equivalent to, uh, I can, I've eaten, it's been many years, but I, I've, I've eaten in there. They're not bad for fast food. Not like, it's a, Ooh, that used to be a fish and chips place, but that's well, it's something else now. I can't say loans on it, but I so I think something else in there. Um, on the very corner of there, there's a Home Depot. These, in, these buildings are not most of these buildings are not actually attached. There's a Home Depot, there's a place that sells tactical gear over there. It says it, I've never been in there. Sometimes I'm gonna walk in there just to browse around, but you haven't. Sometimes I'm over to talk for uh, Home Depot to buy something. But uh, I'm thinking they probably sell some type of tactical shoes. Now, if Mockingbird, the guy on the badcaps.net forum, wants to come to Avondale, you know, Avondale, Arizona, in the United States of America, wants to come and walk in that shore, I'm sure they're selling some tactical shoes. Now, my image of a tactical shoe, well, I get two images. One is a steel tip, steel tip boot of some type. The other one has got a little bit, a little bit thicker sole on it. It's got a hidden compartment in there, big enough to put like a 380. Or a little, little 22 or 380 or something in there. That's my, or maybe maybe, maybe boy knife or something. That's my image of a tactical shoe. Uh, but that's probably way off. The steel tip boot is probably a little closer to a tactical boot. Anyway, there's an Ashley's. Um, ever been in there? There's a TJ Maxx. These buildings are attached. It's actually, a series of uh, places. Is a uh, coffee, there's a uh, Starbucks, I think. I've never been in there. I've never really, I've driven, driven past this, I've never really paid attention to what was in here. Until this long time I've paid attention to what was in here because I don't really shop at these businesses. And there's a, uh, oh, I can't think what's on the corner down there. Uh, okay, let me see what's, uh, what's, oh, I can't read it from here. I need my glasses and I don't have them on because I need them for distance and I can't see my, I'm muting my cell phone. There's a Sam's Club. Sam's Club opens up at 10 a.m. I was using their Wi-Fi. They've got blazing fast Wi-Fi there, and I am a Sam's Club member, and I do thank Sam's Club for providing their what their their, their free Wi-Fi. I'm there's a subway down the very end there. There's okay. There's a group of buildings. There's a I there's a cricket because my cell phone is through cricket, and. Uh, you know, the office, one I bought it from is fr from that office, the one there, and there's a Chinese buffet down there, and there's a couple other little restaurants or businesses in there, in that place. And they're all doing pretty good for, you know, for malls. That guy on badcaps.net forum that says malls are, um, actually I think it was uh, Mockingbird that says uh, mall, malls are completely gone, which is, the strip malls are still doing pretty good. Let me go, there's, there's these guys. Um, now they're they're what, what's called day laborers. That's a polite way of saying it. Now one thing, I've made a mistake of waving at those guys just to be friendly. And if you wave at those guys in the park anywhere in the sat in the Home Depot parking lot, you have about 20 of those guys coming over. They say, hey, how, how many guys do you need for your for your job? I said, no, nah, I just wave me friendly, man. I don't need anybody. Oh, okay, okay. So you don't dare wave at those guys, or they'll think you invite them to, um, you know, you have a job to do, which. Uh, it's actually illegal under current United States law to hire those guys, but uh, people do. Anyway, let me go around here, give you a 360 without talking. May give another 360 here. What I, what I like to do is to get Damien into, you know, my grand, grandson into uh, making YouTube videos, because if he gets good at it, you can make money. You gotta get good at it and have a lot of subscribers. And then YouTube has got to actually advertise on your, uh, you know, on your videos. That's where they make their money. That's where they give you money. They don't do this. So you gotta. Um, now my granddaughter. Last time I went saw her, she wouldn't. She wouldn't talk to me. She wouldn't say a word to me. But uh, 
is only about two months old, so I kind of understand how, why she wouldn't talk to me because she wouldn't sing anything at all. Uh, she's about a year and a half now, so I, I did really need to go over there and, um, well, see if my granddaughter will talk to me. I'm sure she will. Uh, she's probably saying a few words right now. Teach her how to say grandpa. And see if my grandson Damien has any interest in me. He may not, this may not be anything he'd be interested in at all, but uh, I'm just using my, uh, you know, smartphone. And uh, it's actually just easy as, easy as pie to uh, set up an account with uh, YouTube. And uh, much easier to make the videos on a cell phone than post them on uh, YouTube. But it's... Uh, you know, actually get a lot of people to um, subscribe to your video. You, well, you got to, well, there's people that make these, um, you know, like they're living in their car and they're, they have these really depressing videos where they're telling how their whole their life is screwed up. And to me, I don't care to watch that type of stuff. I don't care to see how people explaining why their life is screwed up. But uh, lots of people watch those. And if, if I want to make that type of video, that's their business. But I don't need to watch that. Well, that's my one criticism on those. Okay, enough said. Bye-bye.